We have saved a very special recognition for our last honor of the evening. After about three decades of this event, we recognized a couple uh, years ago that it would be important to identify, celebrate, and recognize leaders and companies that have established a unique presence in our state and recognize these individuals who have demonstrated a lifetime of leadership, a lifetime of contribution to the state of Arkansas. Tonight, we are honoring Mrs. John L. Hunt. And I would go ahead and like to invite her daughter, Jane, uh, to the podium, who will be uh, saying a few words here in just a moment. The legacy of leadership honor that we are recognizing tonight is reserved for those in the state who have made a unique impact on Arkansas. There are only two other executives that we have ever honored in this way. They are Simmons Bank executive Tommy May and KFC franchisee and bank former bank executive Wallace Fowler were both previously recognized here and we are excited to recognize this lifetime of impact, contribution, and, uh, and leadership for Mrs. John L. Hunt. So I'd now like to invite uh, Mrs. Hunt's daughter Jane to the podium to say a few words and then in just a minute we'll have a video and then we'll be joined by Ms. Hunt herself. So make, uh, give a, a round of applause here for Ms. Jane. So. Thank y'all for honoring our mother. I'm speaking for my brother who I see on the screen. I thought he was at the beach, which he gets to go because he has five children. And the last one just left. Um, I've wanted to have this podium for so long because I have so many things I could tell you about my mother and my dad. And one thing I want to say is she was a businesswoman. I didn't know it. I didn't know till I was about 30 that she didn't work, that she worked when we were in elementary. She was always home. She always picked us up. She had those big black books, ledgers. <laughs> Nothing was on a computer. And she'd do it at night. And she still has more energy than any of us. We can't outdo her still. <laughs> but um, the one thing, and this week we've talked a lot because it's been fun seeing the videos and talking about it. And we never think of mother without my dad. But um, the one thing my brother and I agree on always is it happened in Arkansas. And we'll never forget that. Um, we were the kids in the back seat. And we've got a book going to come out at some point with all the stories because we heard it all. He made it. but She had to pick up the money on the end because he just couldn't do it. He was just a really kind guy. And somebody had to do it. She was a really kind woman. But she had the family to feed. And as women and mothers, we know how to do that. But um, one thing I'm most proud of with my family if this hadn't have happened, if my dad was a truck driver in Little Rock, my mother was a homemaker, I would have been a teacher, my brother would have been a businessman, and we would have been a lovely family. And that's because we grew up here. And in Arkansas, people help each other. That's how they helped my dad with his vision. They helped me. We all have been there with casseroles when someone died, at birthday parties and celebrations. And always there with a helping hand. Yesterday in the parking lot, the man, I got out and I said, I don't have a mask. And the man said to me, I've got an extra. I'll give it to you. And he's from Arkansas. I know he is. He had a truck. <laughs> Trucks. But um, thank y'all. I just don't have any more words. I have lots more words to say, but I promised them I would stop, didn't I, Mitch? OK. Thank y'all so much. We can, uh, we can celebrate her business acumen, we can uh, celebrate her generous philanthropic efforts, but there is no question that Mrs. Hunt has crafted a legacy of leadership for the state. She is an icon of Arkansas business. She has been a groundbreaker and a trailblazer for women everywhere. 
She has made a mark as her mark as one of the, the savviest business professionals this state will have ever known. And we are honored to recognize her today for her lifetime of exceptional service, philanthropy, leadership, and community investment, all of which have made Arkansas a much better place. And as a special surprise for those of you in the Doubletree and those of you in the Robinson, uh, Mrs. John L. Hunt is joining us today and uh, has some words I believe she wants to share. There's Ms. Hunt, it's great to see you. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you so much. And I sincerely appreciate this legacy award to the, from the Arkansas Business Journal. Um, you've made me very proud. You've put me in a special place because there are so many great people out there and for me to follow the two that have re received it in the past. And then I especially think of all these uh, companies that were honored tonight and uh, all those in the, that, that uh, were in those categories and the winners. They're much aren't like our story. So many of them, they're beginning just like we did and look at where they are tonight. And I think I honor them too. I would just give anything to be there tonight. I think all any of you that know me know that I would want to be right there, a part of it, and giving everybody hugs that we're not allowed to. But about a year ago, when COVID started, my son, realizing that I was in the high risk group, said, "Mother, I think it's time you. I go to. I still go to work every day. I get up every day and go to work, and I'm involved in building buildings and." and uh, apartments and developing and doing what he had started new. And I'm enjoying that very much because he left it for me to do. But my son said, mother, I think it's time that you're in the high risk category and that you need to stay home. So I say that he locked my door, took the key, and I've been home ever since. So I appreciate my daughter being there tonight to uh, take my place and stand before you and all. And um, I have so many people to, that, to thank for making it possible for us, for me to receive this award. And Johnny's receiving it with me. My name is on it, but without him, it never would have happened either. But we had so many people the young people that came along early stayed with us and made the company what it is today as far as J.B. Hunt Transport. And in Hunt Ventures that I'm doing now have all these wonderful people that I can depend on about the decisions about building a new building or what we need to do, do next. And all of them are why I'm able to receive an award of any kind and all the people from our past, because like so many others that spoke, um, we started with nothing, but we just worked, we stayed with it. And I just hope that sometime down later on in years, when we are thought of, and the legacy is a thought of, that the one thing that will be ours that people will know that we really, really cared about people. And we cared because God blessed us and gave us what we have today from, with giving us good people to help us. And that our legacy will be that we not only cared about people, but that we gave back to help others all along the way. So thank you, thank you, thank you tonight for giving me this very special honor. Thank you, Ms. Hunt. Uh, congratulations. <laughs> what amazing life of impact and purpose and commitment to people. And I think that uh, legacy is uh, one of Arkansas's shining spots. So uh, we're thrilled to honor you tonight. We're thrilled to have your family here and uh, thrilled to be able to recognize you in this way.